A bride-to-be in Winnipeg decided to give her designer dress away after her wedding scheduled for March was canceled. Hannah Pratt posted the dress on Kijiji a week ago, a $1,300 Tara Keeley dress being given away. 9,000 people read her post before she eventually chose Jasmine Doolin. They both join us now from Winnipeg. Hannah, I'll begin with you. What made you decide to just give this away? Uh, well, there are a few reasons, but namely the fact that I had something I could give somebody else who needed it. Um, I didn't have a use for it, and I knew that the benefit and the feeling, the rewarding feeling that I would get from giving it to somebody else would be worth far more than any cost I could recoup had I tried to sell it. Uh, Jasmine, could you believe your luck? No. It was amazing. I couldn't believe it. I cried. I cried all weekend. <laughs> I was so excited <laughs> to find out. <laughs> tell, me, tell me about the official handover on, on the weekend. How did that happen? It actually just happened about 15 minutes ago here. Um, we had been communicating since I got her story, which was really compelling, and that was the reason that I decided to, that, to give her the dress. I knew um, from the way that she wrote her story so honestly, and um, the fact that she trusted me with her story, it just made sense. It was the perfect match. Um, so I knew that she'd been looking for a sweetheart dress, and we had a connection based on what she had gone through and, and what I'm passionate about, which is violence against women um, prevention. So the handover happened right here in the studio, and uh, I, it went great. I mean, it was such a, it's been so rewarding to receive all these submissions from brides and, and hear all their stories, but then the extra benefit of meeting her and having this new connection um, has been wonderful. Uh, 9,000 views on Kijiji. Does that mean that you had to go through some 9,000 short stories or uh, were there a lot fewer? There were approximately 50 before Thursday uh, and I made the decision then. I received Jasmine's story uh, on Monday, I believe. It was one of the first ones that I had, I had received, but I continue to get them. And so I decided uh, a few days ago that I would ask other brides if they were willing to give me their dresses to help match up some of these other uh, brides-to-be who required a dress. So now I have about 14 dresses to match up with the, the brides who submitted their stories to me, and I'm working through that process now. Uh, Jasmine, uh, you, you conveyed a story to Hannah. What was that? Okay. Um, when I was 17 years old, I was sexually assaulted by eight men after a party one night. After it happened, I decided that the best way to deal with it would be to not deal with it at all. So I started using drugs. I used drugs for 11 years, and it wasn't until February 2016 when I finally decided it was time to get sober. After I got sober, exactly one week after, I found out I was pregnant. And I always told myself if I was ever going to get pregnant, if I was ever going to bring a child into this world, I would never, ever use drugs again. And I meant it. So fast forward to today, and I'm currently 19 months sober. I am engaged to the love of my life, and we have a beautiful 10-month-old baby girl who's so happy and healthy and just, it's, I'm doing really well now, and it's, it's awesome. That's a very uh, uplifting story. Hannah, when, when you heard that, when you saw that uh, posted, what, what did you think? What was your reaction? Um, my reaction was I felt very, I, I thought that she shared that with me really graciously. Um, I thought the fact that she's using the story now to inspire others that they can overcome adversity to other women who have experienced sexual assault in such a violent way that they can overcome that and um, move forward through healing. Uh, the fact that now that she's sharing this with the world, I think is so inspiring and I'm kind of in awe of her uh, <laughs> every time I speak to her and that she's saying it so elo eloquently even right now. So that story was really what gripped me as I'm sure uh, the listeners or viewers right now are experiencing that as well. Uh, Jasmine, I'm, I'm amazed that you can be so uh, composed under the circumstances, not only in, in what you've conveyed to us, but, but also you just saw this dress, what, for the first time 20 minutes ago. Yeah, <laughs> it's so amazing. <laughs> it's everything that I wanted and more. I was actually looking at the exact same dress uh, a couple months ago, but there's no way I could afford it. So this all happened for a reason, and I'm so happy about it. <laughs> uh, new invite for the wedding, I imagine? <laughs> you bet, do you want to <laughs> It's going to be fun. Absolutely. I'm there. <laughs> there you go. Hannah Pratt and Jasmine Doolin uh, joining us in Winnipeg. Thank you very much and congratulations. Thanks. Thank you.